I'm hopeless, dude. I'm hopeless. That looks even worse. So there I was, minding my own business, just editing my reaction to episode six of the Tower of God anime. And in an instant, I am just bombarded with messages from friends and fans alike, because lo and behold, at long last, the dub has been announced. The cast, the English cast of the Tower of God anime has been announced. And I'm blown away. It's an all-star cast. I don't know what I was expecting. I honestly had no idea, but they are going all out with the English dub. Now here's the thing. We knew that they were going to have an English dub, guaranteed, because Stray Kids performed an English version of the opening. So this is, it's not a surprise that it's come, but the actors that they've announced, oh boy. Starting things off, we have Johnny Young Bosch as Bomb. Yeah, Johnny Young Bosch, you, you, maybe you've heard of him. He's known for voicing the main character in Bleach. I've never seen Bleach, so, um, Ichigo Kurosaki. He's known for voicing in Demon Slayer, Free, Black Clover, Toradora. Now here's the thing, I've heard Johnny Young Bosch's voice. He's an amazing actor. He's actually one of the most uh, popular anime voice actors out there. And the thing is though, I haven't heard him in a voice quite like Bombs. I haven't heard him do a younger character like this. So I'm super curious to hear his take on Bomb. We have Valerie Rose Lohman as Rachel. I I've never heard of her, but she's voiced in Wolfenstein, Young Blood, What Remains of Edith Finch. Um, again, very curious. This is an actress that I've never heard of. So uh, very fascinating there. We have Christopher Swindle as Heaton, our boy Heaton. He's voiced in Boruto, Bungo, Stray Dogs. Haven't heard his voice either. So a lot of these voice actors, all of them are well known. I've only heard a few of them. So some of them I have high expectations for. Others, I'm just curious what they're gonna bring to the table. Now here's a big one. Chris Hackney was cast as Kunigüero Anyas. Now here's the thing, right? If there's one character they had to get right in the English dub, it's Kun because you know the Kuhn police is out there, right? The Kuhn fangirls and fanboys are out there. So Chris Hackney has a lot to live up to, but here's the thing. He voices my boy, Dimitri, in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, I, as, I don't know if you guys know this, I was a Golden Deer boy. Uh, I love the Golden Deer, but I am currently playing through the Blue Lions. I love Dimitri, his voice actor is incredible. I have high hopes for Kuhn, and I know he's gonna nail it. We've got Matthew David Rudd as Rack. He's voiced in JoJo, uh, Welcome to Demon School. Very curious there. We've got Kira Buckland as Yuri Jahad. Very famous, up and rising voice actress. She's known for voicing 2B in Near Automata. I never knew how to pronounce that. Hopefully that's right. Uh, she's voiced in JoJo. She's a great voice actress, so we know Yuri's in good hands. Kyle McCarley as Evan Edrick. Again, voiced in JoJo. He's voiced in Near Automata. Again, I, I have heard Kyle's voice. Kyle's gonna be amazing as Evan. And then we have Sheremy Lee, who's a huge voice actress, voiced in Fairy Tail and uh, Sword Art Online, Three Houses once again, and she is going to be voicing Anak Jahad. I think this fits so well. Now here's the thing. The voices I personally have heard from Sheremy Lee have been these higher pitched, uh, girlish voices. So at first glance, you may be like, oh no, it, any of these voice actors, right? If you've heard them in one or two roles only, you may be like, that doesn't fit. Here's the thing, right? Voice actors are voice actors. You cannot pick a role they've done and say, oh, that doesn't fit just because they've done this role. The, the, the Japanese voice of Kun is the Japanese voice for Bakugo. They're like complete opposite characters, but he fits both of them the same because it's acting. Welcome to acting, boys and girls. I am, I, I don't know what's wrong with me today. My point is, even if you're unsure because they've done a role and you're like, oh, that doesn't fit. The whole point is they're voice actors. We're, I, I, I'm a voice actor myself. We, our goal is to be able to voice a multitude of different characters with a multitude of different voices and personalities. We got Nicholas Roy as Hots. He voiced in Apex Legends. Scott White as Shibisu. He's been in Death Stranding, Star Wars, The Old Republic, Onslaught, and Transformers War for Cybertron. These two, I haven't heard of, but I'm excited to hear them. Jeannie Tirado as in Dorsey Jahad. I have heard her voice. She's a great voice actress. She's voiced in The Promised Neverland, Black Clover, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, right? She's a great voice actress. Trent Mills as Lero Rowe. Again, I have not heard of Trent Mills, I don't believe. He looks kind of familiar though. Uh, LA based comedian, actor, and singer. So fascinating stuff there. And then Lucian Dodge as Han Sung Yu. I don't know if that's how to say his name. I have heard a lot from Lucian Dodge. It's really exciting. And then lastly, we have 
Christina V as Serena. Christina V is a huge voice actress. She's voiced in Hunter x Hunter, or Hunter Hunter, right? Uh, Konosuba, she's voiced in Miraculous Ladybug, all kinds of stuff. Um, she's voiced in Mobile Legends, which is a game that I voice in as well. So, big stuff there. Oh my god, I think this cast is incredible. I'm just so excited because, like I said, 50% of them I haven't heard their voices, and 50% of them I have, and therefore have high hopes for. Um, I'm excited though. I don't think I'll be doing reaction videos or anything like that, but maybe I'll talk about them once again in the future. Um, it's just so cool to see this new dub cast coming together. Um, if you guys don't know, on our channel, we've been doing the Tower of God comic dub and webtoon dub for uh, about three years now. So, it's it's been an honor for us to be able to voice these characters, and now seeing like the official actors, it's really amazing. But speaking of our dub, we're not done. It's been a little while since I've released an episode, but that's because we're preparing to release a ton of them at once. And that leads me to an announcement where I'm going to be doing a live stream, actually a bunch of live streams, hopefully, Q&A live streams that are also going to be like editing live streams where you can see me editing the episodes, scripting for future episodes, putting things together, and I'll be doing this for a few hours at a time, hopefully. So the, the first one, I'm going to be doing the first live stream where you can tune in and watch me edit the episodes and ask questions is going to be tomorrow, Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So 12 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday, May the 8th, we're going to be doing a, an editing live stream. And it's going to be a lot of fun. My internet is a little spotty, so I don't really know how it's going to go. I might do a test live stream tomorrow. Uh, well, Thursday. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see, right? Uh, but that's going to be uh, really exciting. We're going to do a lot of live streams, a lot of different editing sessions, and that way we're just going to release a ton of dub episodes and finish season one. Um, but again, your guys' support overall has been incredible. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let me know who you are most excited to hear in the English dub. I think for me, I'm most excited to hear Kuhn. My boy Chris Hackney is going to do him justice, I know it. Uh, but thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Tower of God content on this channel. And hey, if you subscribe enough, maybe I'll finally get a haircut once, once all this is over. Because man, oh man, it looks terrible. Uh, but thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.